Hello, good evening everybody and in today's video we are going to be taking a deeper dive into the life of Sean Puffy Comb aka P Diddy aka they Puff Daddy aka Sean Honeycombs. Let's go deeper, let's go further. So for today's topic we're going to be looking at is Puff Daddy a low vibrational male or is he a gatekeeping warlock that needs to be stopped in the industry today and I'm saying today I think with that 30 million pounds civil lawsuit that Cassie filed in that was settled within a day I think she put a stop towards him already the main aim of the lawsuit was to get was to show justice or to you know um, illustrate his behavior over decades that has been going on for far too long to put a stop to it and to also get monetary game or a settlement a financial settlement for everything she's been through and rightly so Cassie because the more and more I hear about the things that you went through the way you were degraded the way you were used as a slave the way you were humiliated in front of your peers you entered into the industry as a model and an aspiring singer but now to be used as someone that was facing dv and sa continuously not only that you were brought to different parties as a gift to his fellow um, executive or music executive friends you were the person that anyone just needs to speak to her you know, Puff Daddy give them a nudge and they thought they had access to you, access to your area, regardless of how you felt or not. I mean, so much has come out about what you've been through, the degrade, degradation that you've been through, what you had to do continuously for him over 10 years. I can't, I can't. So thank you for exposing what he has done. And you know what? I think it will put a stop to him once and for all. This has been going on for so long not just to females, not just to Cassie, Cassie was with him for 10 years, but there was other people as well, other women, previous baby mothers, Kim Porter, his first baby mother, and Misha, even males as well, nearly every single artist or most artists that got signed to his label or that were under him in some form of management has had to go through some sort of, you know, should we say initiation? Or would we call it that to pay their dues by doing him favors in order to get signed? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna take a deep dive into everything because it's just too much, and that is why I said, is he just a low vibrational male, or is he a gatekeeper? Not just a gatekeeper, is he a warlock gatekeeper? And when I say warlock gatekeeper, that means he's a gatekeeper that holds certain keys, but in order for you to gain access to them you have to do spiritual encounters or he makes you go through a form of initiation within the spiritual realm so yes I'm going to be taking it deep because it gets to a point where you have to think how is this behavior normal how do you justify this kind of behavior without digging deep into the spiritual realm yes I am a Christian I serve the most high I proclaim Jesus Christ as my lord and savior and as a Christian as a prayer warrior warrior <laughs> prayer warrior and um fighting um christian i come from nigeria we do believe in doing spiritual warfare that's where you fight your battles in the spirit and the more and more i hear about the kind of things or the patterns of behavior that he has made the people around him whether in a relationship with him personally or with their association to him within the music industry when you listen to the type of traits of things that he puts everyone through is similar the, the same and it makes you feel like what kind of spirit did he have behind him what kind of rage did he have behind him and it seems like the patterns or the stories of a lot of people are very similar I think they they differ a bit between men and female I think the women in his life the baby mothers in his life or the women that's had his children because he's never been married have gone through a lot more their suffering is a lot more psychological and um yeah definitely a lot of dv and control I'm not saying he doesn't control the men too but it's a lot more looser or he doesn't have as much as a constant firm and grip over them but yeah he makes them do degrading stuff too you ain't going to get onto bad boy or have some kind of management through him or to gain something or for him to open a key to a certain level of influence or wealth or career within the music industry without you paying your, your dues to Puff Daddy. Yeah, P. Diddy Combs. He makes you go through a form of initiation or certain acts before he can help you a bit to access a new level of influence or wealth according to him. So yeah, we're going to look at it from a spiritual point of view and, and want to know why. What is so common with Justin Bieber, Usher? Why did they have to go through certain things? 
Why did they have to do certain things? Why did they need the puffy flavor camp? Why did they need that? Was it just about gaining a bit of edge, gaining a bit of that R&B flavor? Or was there more to it? We're even hearing now, and I'll say allegedly to everything, everything is allegedly, you know, we're waiting to everything gets proven in a court of law. I'll say allegedly, but the speak, the streets, the streets are talking. They are talking loud. They're talking clear. Everybody's coming out. Since Cassie has done this £30 million civil lawsuit, everybody that's had every form of association with P. Diddy that has gone the wrong way. And trust me, there, is, there are many, so many. And I bet there's more to come out. Everyone that's had a toxic relationship with him. Oh, not even, most of them are speaking out. They are definitely speaking out. So I'm going to go back to the question of this video. Is he a low vibrational mouth or is he a gatekeeping warlock? Let's discuss and let's talk more. Thank you. So according to Google, like Google is literally your best friend. Um, according to Google, a low vibrational person is someone that is, has negative energy. But what is very specific about this, um, you know, this terminology of um, low vibration is that it's persistent. They have persistent negative emotions. Um, it persists of feeling sad. They're constantly angered. They're in fear or frustration. This can be an indication of a low vibrational state. So when I look at this and I read this, constantly saddened, angered, feared or frustrated, I definitely see the anger. Um, Puff Daddy seems like someone that is constantly angry. There's roughly a 20-year span of different women that he's had in his life. And there's been severe cases of DV. Cassie's not the first one. It didn't just happen in one year. It happened with his first baby mother, Nisha, to his first son, Justin. It happened with Kim Porter. For many years it happened with cassie as we know for 10 years plus and there was and, and in between those periods there's lots of other people as well so he's constantly angry it seems like it's a thing that just spazzes out of nowhere and he's been doing this reckless behavior for 20 years plus he seems to constantly be in fear what is he in fear of constantly in fear there seems to be well does he feel negative i mean if you're that angered there has to be definitely a cloud of negativity around you a mega cloud of negativity and it's one thing to feel negative or to feel low for half an hour 50 minutes or maybe one day but over a 20 year span you are not that violent over a 20 year span unless it, there is some deep rooted dark energy connected to you waving a dark cloud over you that makes you feel that this is normal behaviour. So I go back to what I say. Is he a low vibrational male? Let the facts speak for itself.